I hope you know which uh, episode this I is. I did. I had to look this up. Yeah. Are we recording now? We are. All oh, right. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. It's the Two Old Gamers podcast. Yay! Hey, we're <laughs> back after a summer hiatus. Yeah, well, the last time we met up and recorded, it was the 20th of August. Oh, right. And now it's the 18th of November today. Yeah, I was I about think. to go to Fright Fest, wasn't I? Yeah, you were, yeah. Mm. So, yes, yeah, so it's episode 35. So, sorry uh, that we haven't had anything, but, I mean, summer's traditionally quite um, quiet. But in no, the space of those three, August, September, October, nearly four months, fuck me, we've been buying, well, I know I've been buying a shit ton of stuff. There's been a lot of game. I've been doing a lot of gaming. Mm. A lot of gaming. Mm. But, yeah, so where were we when we left off? When we last spoke, I mm. think I was still, well, or 20th of August, I was still uh, a newbie mm. to the world of, no Man's Sky Beyond because that had only been out for seven days. Yeah, had I got Yakuza Three Remastered then? No, it was coming out. Ah. Oh no! Didn't it? You were downloading it as we as the podcasts ah, were recording. Right. So yeah, mm. so I I I then put another thirty five hours into No Man's Sky Beyond in and out of VR. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That's well, I did a bit. Of, I did do a bit of No Man's Sky, didn't I? Mm. It is good. Don't go back to your base. What have you done to it? Nothing. You fucking. <laughs> if you <laughs> trashed my base, I put cocks and balls. I tried everywhere. to put a cock and balls, <laughs> twenty foot cock and balls in front I of your base, it. but it went wrong, and now it looks like some kind of weird dog that died. <laughs> Where did you put that cock and balls? Just to the side of your base, so it didn't spoil your view. It's not actually on your base. I wasn't that. So cruel. when the sun goes down, I got a big shadow of a big penis and some bollocks. No, because it doesn't look on anything. My it doesn't look anything like anything. I tried to do it in didn't VR. Didn't you think what I did though looked, looked a bit like the Avengers base? It did. Although, due to issues with the game bases that seemed to work fine on day one slowly got worse and worse and yeah worse, and I kept going back properly. and things had you know but there's been so many updates to that game once again they, they've patched the hell out of it and added more things and VR's a bit better now Blur, mm. blurriness has improved the, oh, yeah. the performance has improved yeah because I nearly still astound, didn't, did, still. We, did we try it last time and I nearly threw up yes hmm I, I still think that is mm. for me it's the definitive VR experience I've ever had it's just it's great, yeah. fantastic mm. but we were also oh no we weren't were we I mean you were just about to get your Yakuza free and we'd started talking about possibly getting Destiny 2 yeah because I was hacked off with the Division yeah and we still are oh it's deleted hacked off with the Division it's deleted off of my system totally and I was sort of like, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We've had a bit of a weird year for me, especially because I played a lot of multiplayer with Paul and then he sort of just withdrew from gaming, basically, didn't he? Yeah. But then we all kind of jumped into Destiny 2, but then at different times. But mm. I just, I think Destiny 2 we need to talk about. I um, jumped into Destiny 2, Shadowkeep, had a fucking good time. I'm um, pretty much almost max level. And I'm okay now at the moment until they do something else. But I think the whole Bungie... This is Bungie's... This was Bungie's big play, wasn't it? You know, they've taken the whole game free to play. Mm. And the amount of stuff you get free to play is incredible. If you've not played it, yeah. And I, I, I actually bought the Shadow Keep, But, I mean, I've actually... I've not touched Shadowkeep, which is really stupid because I could have just been playing the free-to-play game. Yeah. Because I, I rolled a new character, started all over again, and I'm doing their new light quest line that reintroduces oh, all, right, the store, yeah. all the systems. The game, the the move, the way their game moves now, the pacing of it, how they introduce Gambit, how they introduce yeah strikes and everything, it's just brilliant. They, mm. It's like a they've reinvented the game and. The, the Destiny and Destiny 2 both of them got initially the same problems at launch of 
there's not enough of it mm. and now I feel like this going back into it now it's free to play this new light version I do feel like there's so much content mm. but whereas going back into Destiny 1 after a long time it was <clears> enough <throat> to make you drown yeah this is perfectly structured you know yeah. what you're doing you know where to go I feel like I'm achieving things Shadowkeep my review of Shadowkeep if you haven't played it is it's really worth playing um, they've added lots of interesting things to do lots of interesting quests for weapons and mm. stuff like that but I would say that if you've not played Forsaken you're shortchanging yourself from a, the, what is I think the best ever Destiny and I noticed that thing. Forsaken yeah I haven't checked yet but I've noticed that some people have been posting on bargain sites that you can get the Forsaken complete a collection mm. from Morrison's which essentially is just a a CD but you know a blu-ray case with a code in mm. they're flogging it off for £7.50 wow get it get it so Forsaken and also brilliant. CD keys are now selling the digital code for the Forsaken complete collection for seventeen ninety nine dollars all the time all the time which is cheaper the than music in did. Forsaken is brilliant the story is brilliant it's it's wild, it's basically Wild West in space mm. A big revenge story. Ooh. Lots of great bosses and beasties to kill. And even when you've done the Forsaken stuff, there's then a whole new <coughs> place to visit and fuck around in. Is that the garden? Yeah. Right. yeah. The, the, the new yeah. light place took me to some weird-ass shrine with yeah. gold a bloke who likes gold and things oh like no that was the uh, vault no not the no, vault no that was Callus that, yes. that was the uh, season of uh, opulence that oh, came out oh right okay there's a lot in there I, I am I'll be perfectly honest I can't see myself going hardcore Destiny 2 but I can't imagine me wanting to delete Destiny 2 off my hard disk anymore I, 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 the free version is amazing value because it costs you yeah. fuck all. The season pass, the battle pass, the the Fortnite esqueness of it. Oh, I like that. That's that really is good. Really good. You, you know, keeps rewarding whole, you, doesn't it? Keep it? Rewarding you to play it, and it's it, it, it's nice. I mean, so I've fallen off it Fortnite, at the moment because in. I sort of got to a point where I couldn't be asked. To but you do. You get so far. You get it's to, not, it's not yeah. so much unless you go hardcore raider. Yeah. You're not gonna. Well, I'm a hardcore raider, but not that sort of raider. I... <laughs> NFL raider, yeah. Um, but yeah, no. So I was. I have to admit, I'm pleasantly. Well worth the money. This year's really been good. Really good for games coming back because No Man's Sky's had a big comeback. Yeah. Destiny Two's had a big comeback, and I yeah. think that's important for Bungie because mm. they've established the game again, and I think they're in control of it now, and I'm happy with where they're taking that game. I will uh, buy the next whatever the thing is. I mean, there's so much that they added that you know, like the forges. Mm. And Gambit's a good, is a fun game. We played Gambit. Yeah, I. Uh, that's what I was actually the PvP I really PvE like Gambit, thing. Yeah, because for me, I'm not a massive PvP person, mm. and that is like this. It's brilliant. It's it's a blurred <coughs> line, <coughs> kind of like Titanfall. Have you got the Ace of Spades quest? For Cade Six's gun, I think so. Because I got the Ace of Spades. That's what I spent a lot of time grinding and doing. Yeah, I love that gun. It's great, and I got an ornament for it for free. From I don't spend any money in the no. Tess Eververse crap store. I've got this motorbike that looks like a Harley Davidson chopper with flames. It looks like what was it Goat was Ghost Rider's bike? Yeah, it almost yeah, yeah. looks like. There's it's a ridiculous. lot more. I tell you, there's a lot more to it now as well, isn't there? There's loads of customization. Yeah. Oh the, yeah. The game looks a little gorgeous. bit of transmog, but you have to pay money if you want other transmogs. But I mean, the, like the game looks gorgeous mm. as well. They, they, they obviously enhance that engine. Well, on HDR, it's in HDR on the uh, on the and 4K on the P, on the PS4. PS4 now. It looks fucking great. It looks mm. as I actually thought because the moon looked it great. looked. I mean, it looked great on the PC, but I thought this looks almost as good as the PC version. Have you have you started a new character? 
Or did you just carry on where I you I went were? to start and I thought, no, I can't be asked because I did, I did this Seriously? thing where it transports your character from... I think I nicked the character that I played all the way through in Forsaken. No, hold on, no. What I did, I did something really stupid, which is spend more money, was I, I, I got the PC... The, sorry, the PlayStation 4 version with my character. I bought Forsaken, played through Forsaken again... Just to because I've forgotten, you know. Oh yeah, yeah. It was that good that I bought it again. Did you have Forsaken originally on PC? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So then I then because I knew people were like Sean jumped in for a few strikes. Some of the strikes you do are incredible. They're yeah. like mini raids, aren't they? Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, top notch. Destiny's great, but I've got other stuff to play. Which I'll go into when I turn on my PS4, which you can't see at the moment, and there's a reason for that. Ooh. Ooh. Bit of a shock Ooh. and awe surprise Ooh. for you. Um, so, um, Switch. Oh, yeah, one other thing to mention. My Origin subscription that I paid, like, 80 quid. Oh, your Premier thing that died. Premier, that I just let it go because... It's one of these things where you're basically paying for... You get all the games when they come out, like Madden's and Star Wars. The one I got it for was Anthem, and then it didn't fucking work in HDR. I know. Anthem, I played it. I played... I've got 30 hours good use out of it, and now I've done this. Like, what Whilst a fucking I was in way. America, I had the opportunity to mm. buy a copy of Anthem. Mm. And if I worked out the currency, mm. it would have cost me £8. Yeah, and I thought that's still still too much. Uh, I would say an eight, I would, I would say eight quid is all right to play. Five to play, you, just you get a twenty or thirty hour campaign that's all right. So I see that yesterday, mm. EA or slash Bioware have announced that they they're are, going they're back a big reboot. They're rebooting this game. It's going to be Amp from two point oh. Oh yeah, they're, but they're not specifying anything. Anything. Or when it's coming out, but literally they are redoing the game. They're copying the division with Division One when they went back and they they released a major free patch to for the game. Yeah, and they they added like a PVE extra open space that was like spawning enemies in all the time, and you could get stuff. And they did the they game. added modes like um, Horde mode where you had to go and take successive waves of enemies on to get gear and all the rest of it. The thing about Destiny, compared to The Division, while we're on the subject, mm -hmm. is that with Destiny, when you get a new sword or a new gun or a new shader or a new piece of armour or whatever, it looks fucking dope. But when, <laughs> you, but when you get new stuff in The Division... It's another pair of fucking trainers that looks just got the laces are a different colour. Or you get a pair of jeans that are a slightly different colour of denim or they're cut off and look fucking ridiculous. The reality of the division is it's downfall. Correct. That is its Achilles heel. The reality is that it's not fucking real. Because and talk about bullet sponginess. I actually think that... They said it, oh, everything isn't as bullet spongy. It is. When you get up to the higher levels, everything retains retains bullet sponginess and the thing that really killed it for me was this fucking raid that I tried and instead of bullet sponginess you had to go through some convoluted mechanic to disable someone's shield so you could then apply damage mm. which is still bullet sponginess but it just means that none of your bullets registered any damage whatsoever until you did this you know whatever anyway Division sorry you're, you're on my <laughs> shit list <laughs> so okay like we love to we love moving between oh we like yes. the division Destiny as I shit, keep telling my missus I said don't go don't go talking about stuff that I said 10 or 13 years ago because I probably didn't give a shit at the time when I said it anyway and it was totally innocuous to me and didn't mean anything but you're carrying that around with you like a bit of baggage to then hold them up to me and say well you said this when really I just said it Offhand, I I said I changed my mind. I said I think, I think if people don't change in ten years, <laughs> people change in ten years. They're, they're at least allowed to change. Part of that change is changing their fucking opinion on something. 
I think we've opened a, yeah, we've that's opened a, that's, something let's we close that can open. of fucking worms Quick, shut that box move on no we're getting on Whoa. Good. We're, we're, we're fine we're fine so got, I'm going to talk about my, my quick divert yeah so Destiny 2 Shadow Keep was coming out so I re-downloaded Destiny 2 yeah. and started playing it and I was really excited I was, I was playing it I was really enjoying it and the night before Shadow Keep launched oh. my TV <laughs> developed a huge black line oh, yeah. straight through the middle of it mm. as one of the uh, panel the panel broke wasn't it an L it was a plasma plasma that's it's a pla it. yeah. Panasonic plasma so that's our old 42 inch plasma and it's that was fucked I was like no but you came to my rescue yeah with a a, a, a very a free. nice do free nicely donated 32 inch Samsung TV which is the one I bought originally to to play on my Xbox 360 so at it, HD it's 720p. HD ready it's HD ready yeah. <laughs> it's brilliant I just, and do you know what it's I, it, yes, you on could, that size screen, you don't need 1080p. Obviously, there's a downside to it, yeah. but my god, it's kept me going. Yeah, well, you, it's until, kept you, me until going. you get time it's to really buy a new good. one and then give it to the kids or something, can't oh, you? Yeah. No, so um, you're welcome. Yeah, so you saved my bacon there, mate. Thank you yeah, very much. No problem. I was able Bandit. to play Shadow Keep. Oh. Bandit's got yeah. a funny expression on his face as if to say, what the fuck are you lot talking about? We're talking about all these wonderful games, Bandit, that you can play so, with your thumbs. So, um, let's talk about, really, because we've got a lot of games to talk we've about, really. Do you want to just talk about what you've been fucking around with? Well, then? should we, I mean, mostly... Because my section's going to have some... You're, I mean, you're, you're going to have your own sub-show, really, yeah. aren't you? I mean, I, I should I'm do, just really. Go, oh, yeah, I should have game. my own show and you're just a guest. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I am anyway. <laughs> yeah, I um, so. No, so, <coughs> funnily enough, I don't know, actually, what have, I, what have I been playing? I've been playing a lot of time on the Switch. Yeah, you, you are Switch-focused. As yeah. always, because it just fits into me. It's been a... I mean, I but can't believe how much, much stuff play. comes out on the Switch. It's hmm. been ridiculous. I spent a fair sum, is all I'm going to say, on populating my switch because I knew I was going to go on holiday yeah. on a plane and then I ended up feeling so fucking tired that I couldn't even look at any screen anyway well, but anyway that's just by the by I think I think I'm just looking at my list of things I wanted to talk about so yeah so I mean basically for me I have been going because there's been a month every month Nintendo have had a big title out they have like, yeah. practically all year mm. so I think the last time we recorded I think Link's Awakening had oh, just come out oh that's right yeah what a brilliant game let's give that a bit I mean, of love Link's Awakening is a fantastic game anyway and the Game Boy version I, I used to love that I never completed it I never I never knew I didn't know anything about it you, don't forget your drink now oh, yeah. I didn't know anything about that game and then I started playing and I'm like, oh, this is wonderful. It looks incredible. They've done such a good job. And then I'm like, fuck, I'm stuck. Yeah. I don't know what to do next. And like, not stuck, stuck. Old school old stuck. Old school like, stuck, like, yeah. What the fuck am I doing here? What have I... Thank God there's there, walkthroughs on the internet. There. Get a dog to eat the flowers. Oh. And then there's things from Mario that are in this game. Christ and why is Kirby in one of the dungeons? What the fuck is going on? Anyway. Well, that didn't bother me. I just got stuck. I didn't know where to go next. What an oh, amazing game. That, it, honest to God, reboot, the, the, the best reboot of a game I've seen. It's beautiful. Yeah. Absolutely music, stunning. The music. I literally, I spent some oh, I time... I love Zelda music, anyway. ...booting up the game. We love Zelda music so much that... Oh, we went to that I concert. took you to that concert, didn't I? I know. Didn't they have a Link's Awakening section to the concert as well? They might have done. I yeah, they did. You know, I, I can't remember, but all I know is the mu. I mean, you know, it's classic. It's fucking amazing. But, um... Yeah. The, no, I mean, I literally just boot the game up just to watch that intro sequence to hear the little pan pipe version of the Zelda theme on the, oh, on the, on the start screen. such a millennial way of talking, Mark. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it's so okay. good. Um, so Link's Awakening I've that's loved that's a 10 that out of 10 game for me that it's, it's that's perfect. one of the games of the year absolutely because I think we're, we're, we're all the big releases have come out now which we will go through but yeah. 
I'd say that's, you know, what we said is that we're going to, as we go along, we're going to mention games we think will be maybe in our top 10 you must plays yeah. rather than game of the year and all yeah, that yeah, crap, yeah. you know. So yeah, I think that's fair because that's this year there's been too much. Yeah. There's been too much to, to say, oh, this is the best game. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so I spent a lot of time. I haven't finished Link's Awakening yet. Yeah. Um, but I've I've been doing lots of side quests in it and doing like the collect quest to get the um you got to, you know you keep giving items to people in the villages all the oh, I've done all, I've done that. And then yeah. you get a special I say you get the magnifying glass. Mm. And then you get Have you been in the nightmare room where he goes to bed? And have you completed that yet? What the the uh, dream shrine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've done both bits of that. Because that's bastard hard, that is. What's the second bit? What do you get for the second bit? Well, there's one bit that you can access early on, but then later on you have oh. to go back in and get the ocarina. I've got the ocarina. Oh, you must have done it then. I must have done it then. Oh, yeah, no, oh. I've got the ocarina. You probably cheated, didn't you? No. And then um, <laughs> I've done the colour dungeon, which is the one hidden in the cemetery. Oh, hello. Hold on. How do you get there? There's a, you have to follow Bandit a path. Up then to say, oh, where's right. that? Where's that? Sandwich. You have to follow a path mm -hmm. of in between signs, and then you push a gravestone or something. Oh, I've not done that. And yet. then it opens up a secret dungeon, and that dungeon was added for the Game Boy Color version of Link's oh, Awakening. Oh, right. And it was specifically puzzles based on color, mm -hmm. and it is exactly made. But if you complete the dungeon, there's a fairy at the end of it who tells you pick a, you can pick a new tunic oh. and you can pick a red one or a blue one and the red one doubles your damage and the blue one doubles your defence oh ok so Shit. if only I'd known before I got right to the last boss oh it'd be really handy <laughs> for the last boss <laughs> well it's bosses but actually bandit you're right yeah so Link's Awakening took up a huge amount of time <coughs> yeah and then um, brilliant game um, who moved on to next so then in September De Destiny that took a lot of my time I played the shit Destiny out of that Destiny came out uh, and then on the Switch though I was sorry sorry Bandit go on bloody room go on I'll let him out um, get out Bandit what was the, what was the big game in September I think it was Dragon Quest Eleven yeah. came out which I know you've been playing a lot of on the Switch yeah, I love Dragon Quest Eleven, and it's the best version on the Switch. And then, and it looks great on the telly when you put it on the big yeah. screen. Looks looks stunning. Looks just as good as the PlayStation. Version. And then I am denied over this, and then I got um, The Witcher because mm. I, I was going on holiday, and I thought I think that might be a good time to to get into it. And um, The Witcher, Witcher Three, The Witcher Three, and on all the DLC. Switch. All DLC. I've got the physical version. Have you got the physical version? Physical version. Because... Did you get the one with the map and all the stuff Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hang on, look. So I can't, oh, so I can't lord it all over you then. Fine. Look. Okay. Oh, nice. Oh. Okay. Because yeah. I did that to my 3DS. <laughs> I, the, sorry. I'm showing Mike that I've stuck the Witcher sticker on the back of my <laughs> Switch. I've got something else to put on my Switch. Ooh, look. Raiders stickers. Like, I oh, they're cool. They are nice, aren't they? Don't put anything on your Switch. You've got a nice Diablo one. I know, but these look fucking cool. Um, the Witcher 3 <laughs> on the Switch, <coughs> I have to be honest, if you're playing it on the TV, don't bother. Well, that's to be expected. Play it on the PlayStation It's to be expected 4. because it is such a high overhead game. I've seen it on handheld and it looks great. On handheld, it is just... Astounding! Mm. It was literally just astounding how they have managed to put that world into a portable games console with no no cutbacks. Yeah, I've been doing my favourite story. I've got the I've got the, I've just got the, the cartridge the version to save. I don't know what the install on that would be on the cartridge. On the cartridge, it's about two or three cartridge, gig. The cartridge, yeah, it's nothing on it. No, but what would it be if it's digital? A lot. Yeah. I think it's like 40 gig. Well, that's the biggest game ever then, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, because it's on, on a Switch. 32 gig cart, I think. Well, oh, okay, right. Which is one of the first games to use it, I think. Hmm. But um, I'm literally just up to the, the Red Baron quest. Yes. So, and it, it feels really good. I, I don't, I wouldn't advise, I wouldn't say if this is the first time you've ever played The Witcher 3, maybe not 
play it on the Switch because there are I would say better why, ways if you're going to play it mainly handheld then I'd say go for it but to go back to that game it, on the Switch it's just incredible the water the music effects. in that game is beautiful oh don't he said in the millennial way don't don't I just, <laughs> every time you finish a crest and you get the hey <laughs> how does it go awesome hey that's more like it you sound like a eunuch um <laughs> no, no, I've really enjoyed. It. I spent a good portion of a plane flight mm. playing that. Mm. Perfect game for a plane. Yeah. But then it all. Then I've not touched it since the thirty first of October. Because <coughs> that's when. That's when I flew out and I actually unlocked. You unlocked it. Yeah, Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's Mansion Three. 3. Amazing looking oh. game. It looks brilliant. I've it's only played a tiny bit. And I found out, I only found out this week, mm. I thought, oh no, there's no button. Because all the Luigi Mansions games have had a button where you press it and you call out, Mario! Oh yeah. And it doesn't, I thought it didn't have it, but it's actually any of the D-pad buttons. Oh, is it? You press oh, it and okay. he calls out Mario in different voices. Oh, okay. Um, but Luigi's Mansion 3... I think that's a must-play game is, yeah, list game, oh, isn't it? Definitely. Yeah, on handheld it's gorgeous. On yeah. TV it's amazing. Yeah, the, the animation. I mean, it's like playing a Pixar movie. It is literally. It it's the interactiveness of the environment as well, isn't it? Yeah, and how much physics is going on as well when you're sucking up coins and things off shelves and car. And some of the. I don't think you've played it. F have you played it far enough to get Gooigi? No. So the whole idea That's really of, cool. The actually, whole idea yeah. of Gooigi is the puzzles they introduce with two people. Yeah. You know, with the two characters is ingenious. Yeah. Um, um some of, and some of the bosses that are then That's entails. a bit like I like that mechanic because it's a bit like li light and dark Zelda, isn't it? Yeah. In a way. Yeah. And I mean and you know, and you're in a hotel that of course you know, there's loads of pipes that Gooigi can go through that mm. he can't, and so there's lots. Of, nothing too taxing. Collectibles, but really nice. When you solve a puzzle, yeah. you go, "Oh, brilliant!" One reviewer I said, he said, "This is the first game that looks like a next-gen console game yeah. on on the Switch." Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, some of the um, some of the effects and yeah, in some of the Everything, later the production, each floor design and of the hotel is on a mm. different theme what I love when Nintendo bring out a game is that 99% of the time you'll load it up you might get a tiny little patch here and there but it all works it's not fucking oh this don't work that don't work well we'll patch it and all that crap they release like the old days once they released it on cartridge that's it yeah you know I like that <coughs> I get the feeling that Luigi's Mansion 3 will get more stuff will get stuff added to mm. it mm. even if it's in the um, so it's got two multiplayer modes one of them's local multiplayer yeah and another one is actually online oh, okay which is like a scare scraper yeah so you basically say I've, I've got I want to play with three other people yeah I've got uh, I want to try and clear Ten floors in yeah. half an hour, right? And you've then got to work together with online oh, people. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, that looks to good. To clear out all the ghosts from the room. Excellent. Yeah. It's really, you know, it just adds to the longevity of the game. Super. Oh, brilliant game. Um, and this week, last week, they released Pokemon. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah, I bought it, but I haven't really played it because I, I did like the idea of getting a. Uh, it'd be stupid to have a Nintendo and not get a Pokemon game on so it. So that. So it's got a lot of controversy around it because of the library. The of hardcore people yeah. are not fucking happy. Well, I don't give a shit about that. No, so. I mean they're happy. There's things missing. The graphics aren't good. The um, the uh, uh, graphics look good enough to me. Some of the animations are shit. There's a tree in the wild area that looks worse than N64 trees. Blah blah blah. At the end of the day, I played Pokemon on the Game Boy when it came out I yeah. played yellow and um, gold yeah 
So it's Generation 2, 1 right. and 2. I then didn't play Pokemon until Let's Go last year, yeah. which I went through and completed. Yeah. Never completed the Pokedex, didn't do the shiny thing, no. but I, you know, I played through that game. So I don't class myself so as someone... So what's your review of this game? Because you're the best person <coughs> to really... I... Sorry. So far... I'm really liking Pokemon Shield. I like... What's the difference between the shield and the sword then? So this time... Because I went for the shield like you did. I, don't yeah. know, I didn't know what well, I was doing. Well, I had no choice to go for shield because... the, the So, normally what they do is there's exclusive Pokemon. Right. That you can't get in one version or the other and you have to trade with someone who's got some the other version to get those Pokemon right. to finish your Pokedex. This time, though, it's more like there's different... There's exclusive Pokemon to each version. Mm. There's exclusive evolutions of existing Pokemon yeah. to each version. Yeah. Which is why I had to get Shield, because the Pony... Ponyta Pokemon, right. which is a little pony. Yeah. The Galarian version of that is a unicorn and my daughter would not kill me if I didn't get the unicorn one. Fine. So we got that. I'm glad I've got but the unicorn this time, version. This time some of the gym leaders yeah. are exclusive to sword and some are exclusive oh, okay. to shield. So rather than just being eight gym leaders, I think there's like twelve. Right. But some are in shield, some are in sword. I'm not gonna miss it though, am I? No, not at all. Right. No, it doesn't Game plays good. Game. Gameplay's good. Plenty of quality of life fixes for the way the game plays. Yeah. Change the way you can skip tutorials for the first time in a Pokemon game and the game <coughs> realises it. You can catch Pokemon. More customization options. Yeah. You know, to do your characters and everything. Can you use that ball thing that they you brought out? You can use it, but in a very limited way. Oh, right. Okay. Um, the camp. You can now make a camp in the yeah. wild area. And you can play with the Pokemon, and you can cook curries, which is kind of like a little mini cooking mama. Sounds a bit like for the uh, wild style game, yeah. Which is good. It's fun. It's yeah, a distraction. Yeah, it's an extra thing, yeah. But the thing I like about it the most is it's England. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's England, yeah. and as soon as you realise the focus of this game storyline is the gym challenges and everything, and you realise that in the region that they're calling <coughs> Gala, <coughs> yeah. Gyms are treat, treated like soccer stadiums. Oh, well, okay. And it's all, it's literally about a soccer lifestyle. So it's literally trying to just get everything English into a game. Okay. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm cool. about six hours in. So I'm not a huge way in. Mm. But, well, yeah. We looked at something which I'm going to buy. I don't know when it's out. Is it tomorrow? It'll be out at midnight, wouldn't it? Maybe. Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble for Friends. Yeah. Bubble Bobble, you get the original arcade and you get a nice souped up version of Bubble Bobble. Mm -hmm. It's a bit expensive, about 34 quid. I've got some points or whatever that will probably come off that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going for that because I love Bubble Bobble. Yeah. I've on handheld. It won't be a big overhead on download. I've bought a shit ton of stuff on my Switch. I've got, I showed you how many I've, the games You've I've got, got on that are brilliant. Um, I played Dragon Quest Eleven, Dragon Quest Builders. I started playing that. That's so addictive. What the first one? On no, the two. It's two. So addictive. Um, and um, what else was I playing on it? Um, <coughs> oh, I've just got so many, so many titles on there. You put that. Oh, Xenoblade one. Chronicles Two. Really like that. Really like that game. The, the bizarreness of that I, game. I like. How and far the, are uh, you? Um, I've literally done the bit where you find out that the bad, the good guys are the bad guys. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, and then um, I'm sort of. Uh, oh yeah, I then got chucked onto a new world. Uh, I'm sort of just really messing around on there at the yeah. moment. So still fairly early on. Yeah, but I've got my. It reminds me a bit of Astral Chain. You know when you have the the other character. I want to play that. Game. I've got that. It's really good. It's like Neo Tokyo. Mm. Um, but it reminds me of that because you've got like this other character that's like a ghosty thing tethered to you that is enables you to have special abilities and things. Yeah, it's that same sort of thing. So Astral Chain got a really good review. Actually, got like nines out of tens. That did. Yeah, year. a lot of people said it's like the best game Platinum have done for years. Yeah. Um, so I've got that to play, amongst other things. I got. I mean, you know, I think I'm going to have to go in hospital soon for is, an op. So I'll have my Switch, Switch with me to just. 
That'd be perfect. The Switch is, for me, it's still once again a very perfect system. I actually, Masters in America. They sold a lot, thing. haven't they? Now. Yeah, I, I actually got went hands on with a Switch Lite. What do you think? I'm quite tempted. Why? They're nice. Why would you be tempted? Because they something? are so much smaller. They are literally so much smaller, and they weigh nothing. Yeah, at all. I know what you mean. They weigh nothing. I like at the normal all. Switch. I like the big screen. Mm. It's like when I'm playing it out and about in London or things like that, it is a bit yeah. bigger. Hold on, my phone. We'll be back after Shortly. this short break. So uh, I picked up Bullet Storm with the Duke Nukem. So he mm -hmm. plays Duke Nukem, which is fucking hilarious. Bullet Storm's a good game as well. Well, the game I was playing this weekend was the Stick of Truth, the South Park game that mm. was on sale, and that's hilarious. And it looks, I showed you on the big screen, it, yeah, looks, it looks great. great. Yeah. No, it looks great. So that's a bargain if you've got a Switch and you want to laugh. It's really good. Um, I'll tell you the game that I've I'm, I've not played, mm. but I do want to have a go at. Uh, and uh, Grid, by the way, sorry, is really good. It's the best racing game. I might. It's not. This is a game not for you. Mm. I, I fully understand it's not for oh, you. Oh, here we go. Ring Fit Adventure. Oh, for God's sake. Even your gadgets. Well, if you want to get fit, that's fine. Well, yeah, well, I do like, I do, 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 I do get fit. Yeah, I know. But yeah. yeah, no, I'm quite tempted with that. That looks quite fun. Okay. Maybe not for you. No, no well, fucking way am no, I buying no. anything like that. I've no, got too no. much shit in my my man cave here at the moment. But um, you don't need another Nintendo. Plastic they've done a great job this year, and, and they've come out with some must-have uh, games. I think basically, you know, <sighs> Nintendo. You know, if I had to, it's hard, like I said, it's hard to pick a game of the year this year. But so basically, anything Nintendo's pretty good this year. And I did show you. I've got Tokyo F FE, which is Fire right. Emblem crossover crossing right. persona, yeah. and that's a really good game that I played on the Wii U. So I, I've, I've pre-ordered that, actually. and it's installed already, but it won't be out till January or something. Is that right? So weird, yeah. And that's weird. But what's coming out on? Let's just briefly quick stick with the Switch while we're here. What's on the horizon for next year? That is, I mean, I know Metroid's gone dark, and it probably will stay dark. Oh, for Metroid's, another year. I mean, Metroid's not coming out. So I mean, come on. So all oh, right, well, next year, what? what start so the first week, Animal Crossing. Well, the first, the first big game of next year is actually out on the third of January. And and it is actually a big deal for Nintendo. Is that Deadly Premonition Two? No, because oh. it's Doctor Karashima's brain training. Oh, for I remember Switch. that. I remember that. Yeah. And I mean that was that, that, that sold right. a lot of yeah. DSs in the in yeah. its time. So yeah, so that is out on the third of January. So yeah. that is a that is the first big game of the year. They're starting the year. Yeah. But yes, then yeah, then of course yeah, we have got um, I ain't got any network. Um, Animal Crossing, I think yeah. at the moment, Animal Crossing is the biggest game <coughs> of the year. And also, there is another game coming out. It's not a Nintendo game, yeah. but it's coming to Switch, and it's a game that I want to play, mm. that I could be playing now, but I'm waiting. What's that? The Outer Worlds. I've got that. I know. On PS4, I and know. it's really good. And I thought, I really want to play it, but it's coming to the Switch, and I'm thinking... I, I would wait. I I'd wait. To I'd wait for Switch. it for Switch because I don't think graphically it's too taxing. No, it doesn't look like it looks good. You know, it's basically done by the Fallout people, isn't it? Mm. Sorry, Obsidian that did the decent Fallout Vegas and yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. It is. It is Vegas. It's basically it, Obsidian turning around saying, "Bethesda, you don't you don't need to make games anymore. We've got you. Yeah, yeah. We've got you covered. Don't worry." I know. About so out seventy six. What a fuck. So are we done with Nintendo for the moment? I think we are. They yeah, they brought some any, great games on it. This for them has been Obra Dinn, phenomenal. The return of oh, Oberdin. I would say that That's also amazing. a game that needs to go up. Just a short little game yeah. that needs to go on the on the must playlist is Untitled Goose Game. Right. It, it's possibly the funniest game I've played right. in a long time. The premise of it is, you are a naughty goose. Everyone in this little village, English village, has upset you, and you have to go round and complete upset them even complete, more. Yeah, complete challenges. But it's like a stealth game, right? Mixed with a puzzle game. 
but right. it's just it's got a charm to it. I remember you playing hilarious. that at EGX a year or so ago. Yeah, yeah. And it finally came out. It came out the same day as Link's Awakening. And it <laughs> so had a massive like queue, didn't it? Massive queue. It was a surprise hit. Hmm. And it is honestly, it's not long. It's like a game you can play in five hours. Right. Then you unlock advanced challenges. Yeah. But it's just a charming. You know, when you just play okay. one of those games, it's just charming. So, PlayStation Four. Yeah. I've got. Destiny 2 I, I bought Outer Worlds I had a lot of I've done the first bit where I've now got a shipmate and I've taken off and it's very Fallout but it's slick there's no bugs really from what I've seen I know there are some but mm. very solid capable fun spacey sort of shooter Fallout-esque game ticks all the boxes does what it, what it says on the tin uh, I played a bit of Madden's, not too much, a little bit of Madden's, uh, what else, uh, oh yes, Yakuza 3 Remastered came oh, out, of course, yeah. and it looked even, it looked a lot better than I was expecting it to, Yeah. the gameplay is still a bit shonky because it's an older sort of game, it, it, but it is the, but Yakuza 3 is the full version, yeah, so it is the version you've always wanted to play, yeah, and there's all, so it means there's stuff that I can still discover that I haven't encountered. Mm -hmm. It looks brilliant, but something I will show you in a minute is awesome. Yakuza Four mm. in remaster, which unlocked literally the day you left. Wasn't yeah, it? <laughs> and <laughs> uh, Yakuza Five is out in January, and yeah. I, I paid for the triple well, that's, pack. Yeah, so I, I'm going to confess that I have fallen off Yakuza Half. I know, not because I want to fall off Yakuza, well, but I've literally just thought to myself, guess who won't what? be? I won't. I'm I, I'm going to play them all. Guess who won't be falling off Yakuza hard? Xbox, Xbox owners. owners. At last, is, they've got... Uh, go on. That's a major thing, isn't it? Huge. But not only that, it's Yakuza 0, Kiwami and Kiwami 2, which is yeah. a brilliant start for oh, yeah. Xbox people to get into the Yakuza series. And mm. they're coming out early next year, but they're also on Game, game Pass. Pass. Now, this Game Pass is starting to look... Really, the attractive. Game Pass is very good. Actually, it is I a have really to say. good deal, particularly now when it's sort of like merging between. How much Xbox does it cost? PC. I don't know. They do this ridiculous offer where it's three pound. You get the first three months for a quid. Yeah, but then after. But I don't that, know how much it is after that. It's like the Netflix of games, though, isn't yeah, it? Which is what, what it should be. Google Stadia isn't. Oh, which God. is going to come out soon and is Tomorrow. woeful. Tomorrow. And half, no, the it's all right. half the features, no, no, it's all right. No, because their launch titles, their launch lineup of twelve games has been boosted to twenty-two. Good, and I saw the list. And I'm like, I've played all of those. Yes, or if you want to play all of last year's games, whilst streaming streaming them off the internet connection on a phone, Stadia is the place to go. Good. I hope you enjoy it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Good. I hope it is not successful because I like do you see that Sony painted some sort of cartridge based thing recently yeah for the f 5 and people reckon if it's interchangeable SSDs could be like this so in car they could be going back to storage. cartridges no, no oh, it's it's oh so it's instead of a hard drive yeah fair enough possible an easier way of upgrading PS5 storage. is sounding well powerful isn't it mm -hmm. by all accounts isn't it yeah uh, I mean I'm going to be first in the queue looking a bit chonky yeah but I'll be first in the queue you know me oh no I'll absolutely. be first in the queue for a bloody PS5 and also if it's got back, it's got to have backwards compatibility with PS4 titles and your library I think if if it doesn't they've, have they've that, they've said it has, and I mean, but if it doesn't have that, then you might as well just take the whole thing and put it in the bin because mm. you know there's no way moving forward that any console that now relies purely, you know, so heavily on a digital marketplace can. can I think not they're going to have to make it backwards compatible with your existing digital and physical library because how else are they going to get you to migrate? Yeah, there's no, you know, you, it's like, well, no. Because they really. Because I mean, if I look at my PS4, yeah, right now I've actually got a folder called Sony Exclusives, and it's full of those games that you can only get on PlayStation that I haven't played yet. Yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn and sort of like I know, I know. Last of Us. I need to actually finish the Last of Us. Before well, plus Last recently of Us released Neo, didn't they? Yeah, I started and playing Outlast that. Two on on Plus. I started mm. playing Neo. That's pretty it's good. A good game. Yeah, 
really hard but pretty good yeah, it's a bit of a dark soulsy isn't it ninja gaiden -y, dark yeah. soulsy type yeah thing, they've isn't never it? been yeah. easy have they it's fast yeah that's where dark souls is slow neo is fast it doesn't fuck but around wants you to it? play like dark souls it's like fucking hell I oh, know. No, I like that. I, um, I did flick around with that a little and bit. And before that, didn't they have another good month before that as well? Uh, was it? They gave you Last Batman of Us. Or, oh, Last of Us remastered. They yeah. gave us Last of Us and MLB. Paul was playing MLB that. He was on the phone to me and he was right at the beginning and he, and he oh, was, you know how scared he gets playing a horror game. Yeah. I said, wait, well, I said, mate, that's nothing. You wait till you get into the bit of the clickers and you've got to sneak past them in the dark and bloody shopping centre. <laughs> Good luck, that Paul. That is a good game. Um, that is a bloody good so, game. So, yeah. yeah so PlayStation Plus has been really good, actually, the last I've few months. I've bought Call of Duty, yeah. which I said I wouldn't do because I, it had a decent but single people, player. People are saying that Modern Warfare is not it's the best Call of Duty in recent years. Mm. I don't think that that's a compliment. I don't know if that's a compliment um, or not. Now, I think we need... I also bought, before we get into a big one, I've got Need for Speed Heat, which is set in Miami, and I just thought, fuck it, I fancy a bit of car racing with Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Uh, and it's all right. I might show that to you later, after the podcast or whatever. But the big game that came out was Death Stranding. <gasps> so I think we need to just devote a bit of time to that. Um... Modern Warfare, Need for Speed, Death Stranding. I'm trying to see what other games I've bought. You yeah, know, I'm just trying to look at my sort of like list of things that I, I'm. i yeah, I I'm really surprised because No Man's <coughs> Sky took so much of my time. I've that's what I played for months and months yeah. and months. Mm. I'm not regretting it. It's been brilliant. But so, what do you think of Death Stranding? So Death Stranding, it's like I wasn't. It's like a shit game that's. Compe oh, strangely oh, compelling. Not. I was not interested in Death Stranding because I thought, oh, Kojima. It's just yeah. like a load. Of the, all the trailers look like Kojima's gone you know, mental, yeah. gone mental, self indulgent crap, and all of that. And and then I started watching some of the sort of like first previews and yeah. this online element that they'd never mentioned before. Yeah, started cropping up. And I was yeah, going, really. I like the look of this. This yeah. this kind of like somebody can put a structure down to help you, but then you like it, and that helps That's them. That's dark souls, -y, isn't like, it? Where, wow. where people used to put messages. But but you can now. Demon but, souls, but sorry. You can like what people. You can like what people put down, yeah. or you can reinforce it, and it boosts their game. Yeah, it's like a really positive multiplayer single player game. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, um, I st and I. It's, I, it's, I it's, it's a walking it. simulator in a way, isn't it? Yes, I've heard people criticise it for its sort of like, oh, you've got to balance and everything like that. But I, I've been playing it with the triggers held down. Yeah, because then you hold you're holding your backpack all the time and always make those sure those BTS, you're... those phantom things oh, are terrifying. horrible, aren't they? Because it's you, really, it's really scary. It is, and yeah. the fact the baby, your BB, cries. Yeah through the fucking controller while you're playing it that's really unsettling yeah I know you don't really like babies unsettling. making noises in games like that do you? I think as a parent yeah the, the BB thing as a as, as a parent is a little it's bit it's a well known oh. horror trope especially if you want to scare yeah. someone in the dark have like some child the crying <laughs> the <laughs> game it. is it's fascinating. I think isn't Sean, it? our friend Sean, and Sean is someone who's yeah, like usually he's very critical, isn't he? Very critical of games, and he's he he he's summed it. it up perfectly. Yeah, it should be bad, but mm. it's compelling. Yeah, and that's what I'm finding with it. It's like, oh, this bloody game. You know, I've fallen over bloody rock. I know, and smashed my cargo or something. And it's like, oh well, but what's and when it there? rains, it. it destroys your, you're basically like a, like a, a an Amazon delivery man aren't you in the future I thought that's what I called it was it? Apoc <laughs> apocalyptic Amazon Prime delivery driver yeah. simulator yeah. yeah I mean I haven't got very far in it I'm, no. s I'm still on chapter 2 I, I did, I did I, the body the body bit oh yeah take your mum <laughs> and then it all goes for shit <laughs> but then so I went back and then I've gone out again I've, I've done liberated two bases that's what I mean that's where I am. Oh, right, that's, that's exactly where I am. Where I am. You're right, because there was like a broken and down now bike got, outside the front. Yeah, right? and I've got now got to go. Now the guy at the base has now told me that I've got to go and 
steal something off the mules. I'll tell you what I didn't like when all of a sudden I'm being tracked and scanned by other mules. Mules. Yeah, yeah, yeah that made it. steal cargo. So there's still lots of things to... I mean, I love <sighs> the, the, what the storytelling and everything is. I mean, it's got... He creates obscure language and lingo and abstract terms for his worlds and things but he always yeah. he always manages to have something floating in the air that's I, like a I, human being you know he asks you for your birthday yeah at the beginning of the game yeah because I'm born in March mm. I got a bonus oh ok people Pis- people with certain star signs mm. have a, a better afflict a better connection with dooms ok the disease that you have oh, as a great, great so, so I got I a bonus <laughs> I don't know what it means, but I don't know what it means. It no. just said, "Oh, Pisceans have a better, better thing with dooms." I went, "Great! What does that mean?" Yeah. Do I see ghosts better or something? I Let's talk about the Who graphics knows? quality. Graphics and cutscenes look really nice. I mean, um, on a Detroit, become incredible. human level, doesn't it? No, beyond that. You reckon? Yeah, no, uh, I know I do because so of sure. the, no, because of the scale of it. No, I'm talking about like the cutscenes of the people. Oh, okay. I, I'd say that Detroit Become Human was pretty fucking, it, especially yeah, with Chloe I, at the beginning. So I, this is what I was saying to you earlier. Yeah. So this is where I'm now at a disadvantage because, I, of course, I am playing this game yeah. at 720p ah. on a 32-inch screen, and it's the first game that I've played since having that TV mm. where I think I don't think I'm doing this game justice. Yeah, I, I really think I'm not. Well, I'll bang it on mine later. This game properly, so, but it's Black it. Friday, and I might, uh, somebody's promised me a <coughs> present. So Good, <coughs> fifty inch. Um, nice. I think graphically, mm. the world is incredible. The soundtrack. Sorry about the dogs. The yeah. soundtrack is incredible. Yeah, you know it fits the game so well. Yeah, uh, it's it, it's a unique vision, isn't it? It's art. It's a bit it, like you know, Deadly Premonition, isn't it? It's That's like, a good, yeah. It's it's got its own unique, yeah, view of things, isn't it? I don't, I don't know what it is about Kojima. As when Death Stranding first came out, a lot of the first previews are like it's very presumptuous. There's no, nothing makes any sense. Mm. Blah blah blah. You know, there's too much exposition. There's not enough gameplay. Anything like. Mm. That. And literally the day before I got Death Stranding, I reloaded the Phantom Pain, wiped my save game, and I played the opening of the Phantom Pain. It's amazing. I played it for an hour and a half. I have no idea what the fuck is going on in that game. Why am I in a hospital? Why am I following this bloke? Why is that guy on fire? Why is he chasing me? And why is there a whale on fire Mm. chasing me through eating a helicopter? What the fuck? Yeah. I say, like, how can people knock Kojima for like have making a yeah. game that makes no sense in the opening hour when all of his games are like Phantom that? Phantom Pain is like a it. great game. Phantom Pain. I do you know what? I I spent uh, two hours playing the Phantom Pain, the opening hours. And of thinking, Phantom Pain. Jesus, that I need to play that. Yeah. That opening to Afghanistan. It is just a brilliant game. Yeah. Absolutely brilliant. And you get it for peanuts now, can't you? Yeah, absolutely. Well, you can get it for PlayStation. Well, you know, if you didn't get it, you can get it for PlayStation Plus and you right. should have bought it. Um, so, but yes, I love Death Stranding. So, really, I think the only other game that I have bought that I've only played a little bit of is the new Star Wars oh game, no. which I will show you later just to rub it in and I'm piss you it off. For Christmas. It looks great. It looks really good. It, oh. They've actually brought a game out without loot boxes, single player focused. They've had that license for six years. Yeah. Six well, years. Well, it takes four it's or five years them. to make a game these this is, days, this, doesn't it? Apparently, this was made in two years, 18 months. Well, it looks years. great. The, I don't understand how why it's taken EA this long to realise that the best use of the Star Wars license is a single player Jedi game. Well, it's because their business model is all about fucking people over all the time, I, I really every day of the week, rather than fucking <laughs> them over once. I really hope that um, that you know, with the failure of Battlefront Two mm. and Anthem and all these failures they have, yeah. that EA are going to start redeem, redeeming themselves. They need to become a games company and not a company need to company. What they were. I mean, yeah. EA used to be every EA release yeah. back in the old sort of Amigaish mm. PlayStation One days. You looked forward to it, whether that be Syndicate Wars or 
you know, theme hospital. I mean, they chucked or, multiplayer fucking shit into Mass Effect 3. Yeah. Mass Effect 3 is my you favourite Mass it, Effect. It's great. Yeah, yeah, the multiplayer was but, really good, actually. But that wasn't the basis for, you know, but that was almost like that was the That's basis side for dish. Anthem. And it didn't make a full game. It's like Anthem. They didn't know. Oh, they made God, it. They made yeah. a world and then thought, oh, we've got, we've got to put a game in it as well. Oh. Let's not talk about Anthem because I'd say that's got to go down as the worst game released this year. Although you say that, I think a close run second could be Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Oh yeah, I, I'm not interested in that Whoa, whatsoever. I'm so pleased that I avoided that. I played that. the beta and everything, and I knew when I played, it, I thought, no, nah, this is because I played Wildlands they've and taken, completed it. They've taken the Ghost Recon out of Ghost Recon and just made it like arcade shooter in the jungle they tried to combine it with like the division s type stuff yeah but then also with vehicle physics from just yeah well that's ubisoft so ubisoft i I think they're gonna be uh i've not known ubisoft to have a rough year and i think ubisoft have had a rough year i would dread to think what they built into the watchdogs 3 package that they're gonna probably have to redo and they've put that 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 game is good now I was really mm. confident in that game, but now seeing the last few, I'm really worried about the um, considering Legion uh, now. Considering Odyssey was a great game, yeah. Last year, that was one of the games yeah. of the year. Last year, yeah. Odyssey. After coming from such a strong year mm. to this year, that's a shock mm. for Ubisoft. That must be mm. absolutely. Yeah. Well, on I the, think <coughs> well, I think we've covered all the games we've played, haven't we? Well. Let's talk about. Um, oh, well, oh! Hold yeah. on. Let's talk about. I've just remembered something. Games that are coming out next year, sometime. I just, I just want to say something very, very quickly. Quickly. Very quickly. Go on in. I, my American game haul. I bought loads of games in America. Yeah. Uh, VR related games. Oh, Iron Man. I no, no, it was out in February. Oh. Um, I bought Gran Turismo Sport. VR on that is oh amazing. my god that's so good amazing I bought Tetris Effect yeah wow that's a great game in VR yeah, yeah. and then I bought LA Noir and then used the discount to buy LA Noir VR case files and the VR case files are fucking brilliant are they <laughs> it's so funny with cult what is, like swearing <laughs> oh and no and stuff. it's literally the first I'm only in the tutorials you get to beat up the guy on the roof oh yeah and yeah. Uh, it says oh if you close press the triggers to close your fist you can punch them yeah right then it says, "Oh, if you if you leave the triggers open, you can slap them." Well, don't oh, tell right. me that because then can he's a bald. Him. You're yeah. fighting him, and he's a bald guy, and I'm sort of like dodging his punches, and then going pat 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 on the head. Oh like really? Benny Hill. Oh my god! <laughs> until he knocked him, until he got knocked out. Yeah. it's hilarious. Well, VR's just sitting there in the background, kicking out I know, some for good, you. good stuff. Oh, and the VR stuff is it, right. Really now this strong. this Go game on. I'm not so sure whether I want this when it what comes out the, next year. <laughs> what are you waiting to show me? I'm is waiting it, to show you a game. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. No, you're gonna sit now. Close your eyes. Oh, okay. Close your eyes. Don't look. Is this is this gonna be dead? Look now. Yes. This is the <gasps> Japanese playable demo of Yakuza Seven. Yep. So I'm just going to take you through the first bit. That's why you're playing Dragon Quest. Yeah. Because this guy loves Dragon Quest. Yeah. It's all in Japanese. Obviously. Oh, the music. Yeah. Let's get the music up. What? <coughs> There's a baseball bat stood in the sand. Yeah. Like some sort of Zelda Now sword. this is set in, uh, Yo- is it Yokohama? I think it is, yeah. I see the latest Look. the latest trailer <laughs> is um Kiryu's in it. Yeah. So they're trying to pull a baseball bat out of the ground. And this the basically he's failing miserably. He's got these two guys that are with him, he's in his purple suit. There's a bit of a cut scene at the beginning, but I just cut straight to this bit here. So they're all going to try and pull this. There's a base for bat embedded in the ground. None of them can get it out. So, um, 
Here he goes, he's going to go. These two guys who are with our, our guy. Oh, look at that! Baseball bat covered in barbed wire. Oh my god, that's Zelda! <laughs> he's just unlocked the master bat. Yeah. So now we're going to get the first chance to see combat. Turn base. Oh wow. So in this this city you don't it sort of unveils itself like a like a map that you haven't discovered yet. Uh-huh. Really? And it's a lot bit old. Some three surly looking dudes. I think that's a good idea because people are so used to, you know, Camarucho that Having going somewhere which you've never been and it, yeah. and slowly discovering it, that's a good idea. What's interesting is that they, on these demos before, the Japanese games had the circle as the main action button. Now they've moved, they moved it to the, the oh, more western way of doing it. What? No. 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 They've turned into different people no. now. What the fuck is going on? I'm just translating for you. Holy shit, he's a big bastard. Your Japanese is amazing. Right, so... Oh, way up. Look at that. So you choose... You choose your action, your uh, uh, bat spells or items, and then each person in your... Oh, amazing! Now your next person in your team has a go. He's armed with an umbrella. No, you can. You can. Oh, get, this is great. You can get. Um, you can. You can have your potions, or you can just. This is like. This is like Yakuza, Pokemon. <laughs> He's boosted himself. Oh. Right. Excellent. Now the way it works is. Oh. So they sometimes they have dodge. you had to have a look up what all these the buttons do on a translation site or something? No, I'm just playing it by ear, playing it by ear. Special moves and things like that. That's amazing. Yeah, when they announced this was going to be turn-based combat, you I think oh, you went this? you went a little bit. Hum. I'm now going to summon a crawfish. Yeah, it's like a special move. Yeah, you phoned up a crawfish. Yeah. That's amazing. I this year I've stopped talking because I can't even describe what I'm seeing. <laughs> what? Oh my Fucking god! Fucking hell! <laughs> He's just okay. So a mini lobster rained on a man after being phoned up to call him to action, and then ripped somebody's eye out. Right, I'm going to set this bloke on fly, fire with my umbrella. Go on then. No. Okay. What can this guy do? Do a grumpy move. Oh. I think that's a guard. Oh, and oh. he's now ill. You poisoned yeah. him. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a good idea. It's a guard counter, move. Counter, counter, down. counter attack. And there's a hit point. There's a hit point cost as well to everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This works, doesn't it? it Turn does. based Yakuza combat works. Right. Fuck him up. Let's call in the woman with the carrot. The woman with the carrot. Woman with a carrot. 
don't know what she does. I love this. You need to save that as a movie and just put it on our group. That's yeah. brilliant. <laughs> and they come down what from the hell? This is a sushi. <laughs> this is a sushi, sushi chef. chef. Chop that carrot, woman. Turn it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she's making a suit. She's gonna throw it on him. Oh no, maybe it heals everybody. Oh, it's like um. Oh, it's like oh yeah, it's healed everyone. That's amazing. Right. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, I have noticed. So right, so he's like your druid. Because it's a debuffing. I think so. I just realised the icons next to the guy with the umbrella are like a, a star. So he's like your druid character. Yeah. So that is it. insane. Does that make you want to buy it more or less? More. Always more. I mean, that's brilliant. Look, rank up. The presentation is amazing. It's amazing. It? That's insane. That's such a good idea. How to reinvent your game series after six games? Yeah. Then yeah. the conversation with the uh, basic. So it's literally a. It's literally a. a, a um, is that the Dragon Quest music? I think it might. Well, yeah. Because he's mad for Dragon Quest, this guy, isn't he? So they've, they've actually done a, 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 the licensing deal with Dragon Quest so that they can include the characters right. and things from the game in Yakuza So 7. if I look at the map... Can you go up the, the, the ramp? So these, these characters are with you, yeah? <laughs> cool. Check out the map. So that's where we are. Yeah. And that's where we've got to go. Yeah. And this is going to show me... The Look how big wow. the map is. Do we know how many cities? I mean, that's one city. I think it's one city. It is one city. But okay. who knows? Who knows? Because they could easily do a Camarocho, couldn't they? Yeah. In fact, they did show some footage of them in Camarocho when they did that April Fool that ended up not being an April Fool. Yeah. Side quest. This is so smart. Yeah, I'm really, you know, I, you know how I feel. I mean, these games are fantastic, and and I, the trouble is, I, I play a load, I played a lot of them, and then got a bit overloaded on them. And I love them so much. They, they it's, take, it's a ballsy move, isn't it? To and, uh, and Ria Gagotaku Studios, they just, how can they churn out games like? this constantly and then just basically turn around and say let's reinvent the whole franchise and make it turn-based combat who's this guy I don't know he looks like shredder from the turtles Ooh. course select what's this yes, you'll see Ooh, look at the, that's so uh, interesting this is where you have to pick up trash in like a push bike uh, Okay. Two, one, one. go. You're going backwards. Yay! Get the bin. Right, let's get the oh, trash. No, don't get the bin. Oh, trash is that? Oh, the cans are falling in the back. Right, well, you've got to get 50, yeah? Oh, there you go. Go, 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 go. And there's other Wind trash collectors. Wind out for the boom boom. You, mu you mustn't run into them, otherwise they'll take your trash off you. I will yeah. upload this video actually. 50! Yeah! The goal. We have to get to the goal. The goal is. Oh, that truck! No? Yeah. Yay! <laughs> 50! Look! <laughs> Beer cans. Wow! Really? Admit, that's a new I mini game. I, wow. I don't oh, know. We haven't finished that's it. Oh! I saw their pixel, 8 bit pixel art icons at the loading screen. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The Dragon 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 Quest icons. Yeah. Character icons. Oh look, what's that? Oh, what's that? It's a shiny. That's oh, a spider. spider. Uh, let me just check. Let me just check the map a second. Uh, wow. There's, hold on, there's something else I need to show you. So this is out in Japan, like ne next week or something, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So and you can bet your bottom dollar that they're, 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 they're already. This is out in the fully. They're, they're already. Uh, so this is definitely a Western 2020 release. Right. Isn't this it? is what I want to show you. Oh look, that's um, that's Circuit Racer Sir, guy. Yeah, Pocket, Pocket Racer. Pocket Racer man. Pocket Racing. Oh, is it Pocket Racing? It's not. I love the icons, by the way. That's awesome. Yeah, they're great, oh, aren't they? Oh, this is looking better and better all the time. Yeah. <gasps> no, it's Go Kart Racing. Yeah. Pocket Racers evolved. Yeah, he's doing. He's no longer doing pocket races now. And he's doing fully fledged go kart race, Mario Kart racing around the streets of Yokohama. Wow! <gasps> Here we go. Oh, look at it! And oh, they're all dressed up. <laughs> go! Oh, I've got a good start then. You've definitely got a good start then. I love the music in these games, it's phenomenal, isn't it? Oh, look, look, oh, what are they? Uh, that's a weapon to blow them up. Oh, and, the gold, and they're like gold coins. Oh, look at that. These little jumps. Oh, you can jump. Hooray! The boost effect is brilliant. <laughs> See, oh my god, go kart racing. Trash picking up. Well, if up you things. remember, Judgment had the. Drone racing. Drone racing. It's really hard. Yeah. You gotta watch out to start shooting crap at me. Oh wow! Oh look, the guns have appeared on your car. Oh no! There's someone hitting you. Shooting you. Yeah. Circle is the uh, fire button. Can you? Oh yeah, no. I was to say, can you heal your? Oh, fuck. oh, oh, oh! Pillar. I'm nearly blown up here. Oh. There's only three laps to do. Last lap. Oh, I see. You square changes your weapon. Oh my god, the. How do I repair this bastard? Oh, it repaired automatically by the way. Oh, by picking up the gold coins. Ah, oh, okay, that's Picking good up idea. the gold coins is boosting the health. When I played this before, I, there's no way I was in the lead. I didn't even win a game, I think. That, that start that I got was amazing. There you go. Dragon car. Wow, look at that. You won. Yay. That's... Oh my god, this game's <coughs> incredible. <coughs> so that's the go-kart racing, which if you watch a video that we're going to upload to the YouTube Imagine channel. Imagine how what this would look like on PlayStation 5. Well. Just saying. It's got a lot of just saying. text I'm going through here, isn't there? I think that's just because you're on a loading screen and you're repeating the same stuff again and again and oh, again. Oh, I see. <laughs> right, they're hints. Right, okay, what an idiot. So there you go. you got all these little back streets to go down. Now, what they have... Oh. I've got a suitcase with some shit in. So what I um, also discovered is you can explore the rest of the map. They do shut it off, but... You get like true, true Yakuza style, you can run around a corner and then all of a sudden there's uh so, right, let's go and beat these dudes up. Right, so you random people on the street, Yakuza's that you would normally fight. Yeah. And okay. now it turns into Alright. 
and they got red eyes like they're demons, and they hold and they and they they hold weaponry like yeah. they're fantasy heroes. You just tap X a couple of times. This is kind of this is kind of like South Park, the Stick of Truth, where yeah. everyone pretends they're a fantasy character. Oh, oh yeah, you get bleeding effects as well. Ooh. I think this is interesting, isn't it? I, mean, I think I don't think I'm going to miss the the arcadey combat of it all because like, it's I new. Like, yeah, but I wouldn't want them to ditch the arcadey combat. No, well, completely. I don't. I think they're going to do Judgment Two. I believe yeah. there's going to be a sequel to that. Which, while we're talking about it, Judgment Two, is definitely a must-play game. For a me. Judgment. Yeah. Judgment One. We'll do one more battle and then we'll bring this section to a close. So you've kind you've kind of already started with by showing this the sort of like what what has twenty twenty got? Oh my god, he's I'm calling in Gary. Who's the, Gary? He's he's the he's the fight trainer from the other Kuzer games. Gary Barton his name is or something like that. Gary Go Barton. Gary. He's got, he's built like a brick shit house and he's got like big spiky balls on each hand. He does have spiky ball hands. I love the animation. GBH. It's in a Gary. So that, wow. Get him while he's down. No, it's got lots of contextual stuff as well. Staggering effects. Did you see that that goat, because he was near, if you knock people near your other characters, they then get opportunistic yeah, yeah, hits yeah. against them? This is such a good idea. So we just checked the map obviously again. Obviously employing quite a few sort of systems in this as well. They've blocked off the map here. Mm. Uh, so if we carry on, now this is interesting. You can actually get run over by cars now. Oh, god. It causes and damage. Look damage. at your health. Oh my gosh. Wow. So, this is going to be one of the most... This, this has to go on our anticipated games for 2020. Yeah. Along with Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 Last is of looking Us 2. really good. Last of Us 2 is looking really good. What else? Ghost Iron of Man, Tsushima. for me, Iron Man VR. Yeah. Ghost of Tsushima. Looks, yeah. Well, look at this. I, it's yeah. like there must be a motorway there or something. I'm, I'm beginning to think that Ghost of Tsushima might not make it, it to the PS4. Yeah. I suppose also, if we were looking at 2020, we have to say PS5. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the back end of... But, of course, you yeah, know, the, the, the biggest game for 2020, obviously, Apparently is Animal Crossing. Apparently, the dudes up this end of the neck of the woods are really tough. So, it's like you so go... They, oh, so, because the enemies are levelled. Yeah. So, it's like you can wander into a... You, you can be out-levelled. Yeah. Ah, oh, amazing. All oh, right. Okay. So, there we go. Chaps, that, that is amazing. Is, that's that is definitely demo. something to watch for next year. And I'm bold gonna, move. I'm going to upload the video clip now. That is a bold move by them. Mm. To, you know, I thought that would be quite redesign. a nice little surprise for you. To, mm. uh, I totally forgot you downloaded that. That's amazing. Yeah. Such a good... Wow. Yeah. So what else is coming out that we're thinking about? Oh gosh, I don't, I honestly don't know. I think the last couple of years there's just been so many good games. It's literally, when you get to this point of the year where you're sort of like, you've got to think about next year and the good games that you've got coming out next year. Mm. And it's sort of like, I can't because there's too many good There's still many, too, so many games from this year I haven't played. Yeah. Um, I just I need honestly, to trim the video in case there's some... I, th I think Cyberpunk 2077 that is going to be big. It's gonna be phenomenal. Big, yeah. Absolutely phenomenal. Um, 
I'm I'm interested to see I'm interested to see what where Destiny 2 goes next year I'm interested to see where No Man's Sky goes next year because they've already said they're working on the next update to the update um, mm. I didn't tell you this I actually played with Oculus Quest when I was in America I had a de demo in uh, Best Buy which is the yeah. freestanding wireless you don't need a PC VR yeah. headset yeah that's really quite good yeah um, I don't know what else is there coming out I don't know. it all depends on whether or not um, we get a Dragon Quest a uh, Dragon Age game next year possibly yeah um, hang on a moment let me just wait for my phone to work Coming soon. Coming soon. Oh, don't forget that Shenmue 3 is out this week. Oh, is it? Yeah. Well, it'll be interesting to hear what the reviews of that are going to be like. I forgot about that, Shenmue 3. Hmm. Uh, let's go for... Is there much more coming out before the end of the year? December? Okay, yeah, actually, there is something on Switch that I would like to look at, but I'm not in a hurry. Bubble Bubble I, is coming out tomorrow. The Assassin's Creed Rebel Collection. Oh, that's Black Flag, Black Rogue. Black Flag and Rogue in one pack. Yeah. Which I you know, I've got Rogue, That would be quite good. Yeah, that's quite a good collection you've got then on the Switch, isn't it? Because you've got Black Flag, yeah. Rogue, you Assassin's can get Creed three, three. Liberations. Yeah. So just need to do the Ezio collection, that's all we need. Mm. Uh, so, yeah. Third, third, first release of next year is Dr. Karashima's Brain Training for Switch. Then 17th of January, you've got Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE Encore. Yakuza 5 Remastered. Yakuza 5. The Yakuza <coughs> Remastered Collection, which is what I'll be getting, is out on the 11th of Feb. Yeah. Oh, 11th of Feb. That must be when 5 comes out. Yeah. Uh, Ori and the w Will of the Wisp. Is out on the 11th of February oh, yeah, as well. Oh, yeah, Ori's a Blind Ori, Forest. It's a great game. Great game. Mm. Really good game. Uh, Darksiders Genesis, which is the Darksiders version mm. of Diablo, which I don't really think I care Apparently about. Apparently that Terminator game that came out is not all that either. Yeah, I heard that It's too, a shame, yeah. really. Apparently they did a Rambo you know, game was a that was a really boring. good Terminator game years and years ago made by Bethesda. Yeah. Before they did yeah. um, Oblivion. Mm. And it was really good. I, mm. I think it was Terminator Future Shock or something like that. I yeah, really like that, game. that sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, Marvel's Iron Man VR is out on the 28th of February. Of course, we've got the Final Fantasy VII remake oh, that's on the one 3rd of, of that's March. Definitely, that's, that's, what that's the one that I've... Doom Eternal. Get. Not bothered oh, about that. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Doom Eternal got delayed. Yeah. So they're bringing out Doom Eternal on the 20th of March. On the same day as Animal Crossing comes out on the Switch, you got Jesus. L and Animal Crossing yeah. on the same day. Uh, yeah. Neo Two, yeah, is next year. Which is uh, probably March. a reason why Cyberpunk's it went free out on the sixteenth. Right, there what do you think of the Avengers? Does the Avengers? That literally, I think this Avengers game is now starting to look all right. Yeah, I think they once you get used, really to, once you got used to the art style, I think what they did is that trailer didn't explain their systems yeah so that you can make them look like comic book world versions I mean, they've all got different armors they've got different you know it's interchangeable bits they they didn't make that very clear in that trailer i think avengers could be good um yeah last of us part two uh and then we're going well, to where have i got to put mike plays in the title yeah Okay. First bit. Yeah. Or, or, or I can sort it out later. Yeah. Do you know what? It, it's actually saying it. Dreams is actually out next year. They've got a release date. Dreams is out in March. Yeah. Or February. Very early next year. Because we saw it with loads of... There's a new Space Hulk game coming out next year. Cool. Oh, what? no. Space Hulk's coming out on Switch. Sorry. Oh, that'd be good. Bayonetta 3 could come out next year. This is all sort of like undecided stuff. Um, oh, the Xenoblade Chronicles 
the original Xenoblade games, the definitive edition, comes oh, out on Switch oh, next yeah, year. Oh, yeah, because it, it had some DLC that got very well received, didn't mm. it? Uh, what else are we looking at? Ghostwire Tokyo. That looked quite good. Yeah. Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Everybody said that looked very good as well. Yeah. Breath of the Wild 2 for 2020, possibly. That was a rumour. Yeah. That's a rumour. Watch Dogs Legion. Mm. Yeah. Um, Gods and Monsters. Rainbow Six Quarantine. <laughs> Laughably, Game have listed here as um, 31st of December 2021. Yeah. Which isn't going to happen. Overwatch 2 and Diablo 4. Oh, okay. Which is... Uh, so yeah, I think next year. Is